Are you seeing this video that is trending? Come, come and watch it. Come and watch it. Look at it now. Look, we will never stop exposing fraud. Wallahi talahi. Till Jesus comes. Some people are still getting angry that I said God did not drink tea with anybody. God never drinks tea with anybody. Anybody who says God drank tea with him is a lie. God doesn't drink tea with anybody. Quote me anywhere. Do you know God? God is spirit. God is spirit. Do spirits eat Amala? Which brand of tea? Coffee or Bon Vita? And somebody said, don't mind Dr. Damina. Dr. Damina does not understand God. Any spiritual experience that cannot be substantiated with scripture is idol worship. Any spiritual experience, I don't care how old you are in God, that cannot be substantiated with the 66 canonized books is idol worship or spiritism. Put me anywhere. God didn't drink tea with Adam. He didn't drink tea with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He didn't drink tea with Noah. He didn't drink tea with, with, with Jesus as a human being. He didn't drink tea with Paul, Peter, James, and John. It's you he's drinking tea with today. Somebody say, well, Dr. Damina doesn't know that in the Old Testament, God came to Abraham, Abraham cooked, and God sat down to eat. Ignorance, the way it undresses people in public. There has never been an appearance of God in the Old Testament. There was never a time God came to people in the Old Testament. There was no appearance. No one ever saw God talk more of drinking tea or eating food with God. John chapter 1 verse 18. No man had seen God at any time. The only begotten son which is in the bosom of the father. The word bosom is a Greek word called pause. It means the father and the son are seen together in the chest of the father. He has declared him. The word is the Bomai. He has unveiled him. There was never an appearance of God in the Old Testament. John chapter 5 verse 37. And the father himself, and the father himself which had sent me had borne witness of me. You, talking to the Jews, have never heard his voice at any time, nor seen his shape. There was never an appearance of God in the Old Testament. Never. So God didn't come to Abraham's house and, and ate food. Those were angels. Those were angels. It was not God. Teaching good? Somebody said, but Dr. Damina doesn't read his Bible well. Jesus, after resurrection, ate fish and bread. You see ignorance? After resurrection, Jesus was still a man. Today, Jesus is still a man. There is one mediator between God and man. The man. So even today, Jesus is still a man. And as a man, we eat fish, we eat bread, we drink coke. But as God, he doesn't eat. As God, he doesn't sleep. As God, he doesn't slumber. Teaching good? The first time God appeared on earth was in the incarnation. 1 Timothy 3.16. 1 Timothy 3.16. And without controversy, great is the musterion of Eusubia. Great is the musterion, mus mystery. Musterion means that which needs to be explained great is that which needs to be explained of eusubia eusubia means of our view of god in christ great is the explanation of our view of god in the person of jesus christ that means the only place we see god ever is in christ and there was never an appearance of Jesus in the Old Testament. Never. God was manifest where? In the flesh. When was God manifest in the flesh? In the incarnation. His name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. When he became a man, he was no more God as a man. He is God who became a man and as man he was 100% man as though not God and 100% God as though not man so as man he was a full man tired slept ate cried God doesn't sleep 
but jesus slept because when he was sleeping he was not god he was man but when he was god he never thank you for watching please like share follow me follow me god bless you thank you